Welcome to JNK Plat 2010, a JNK game from, you guessed it, 2010. Well, at least I've, it better be, or else I've messed it up. But it is a platformer, uh, an ongoing series of platformers by JNK. Uh, well, it's all about jumping around, grabbing the collectibles, and getting to the exit. Simple concept, and it's pretty fun to play. So. Let's just jump into this tutorial, because, you know, you probably want to know how it works. It's all about jumping around and grabbing stuff. This is just bonus score. You don't have to grab these at all, you can just ignore them. Up and down make use of ladders, don't worry about falling. Blue spheres will give you bonus points. You don't have to grab them, of course. And this guy is Plat Dude. <laughs> and sharp looking spikes, so we'll just hop past them. Time plunger, which is a, essentially a switch that opens for a limited amount of time. That's a block. These are vines that we can use to climb up. That's a very nasty looking shooting thing. Just hop up and grab. <laughs> ah, and yellow ones. At least release themselves much sooner. So we gotta watch the timing. <laughs> Otherwise we do that. <laughs> and we exit through the swirly thing and we got ourselves a speed bonus. Do you use a key, hold a key in the direction. Sure. Just use our arrow keys there. And keys. Inevitably, we run in the wrong direction, so we have to turn around and wait for the spring to charge itself back up. And there! And that is a bomb, which we'll use. And it will just take out the surrounding stuff, the surrounding environment. And we just drag that box backwards to go into the exit. And this is a new one a new mechanic anyway, and basically you have to grab all the yellow yellow spheres, otherwise, well, you can't get to the exit, otherwise, and we've already run out of speed bonus, which, of course, you know, doesn't really mean much, because after all, we, well, we barely started it. Oh dang, where did I go through now? Uh, restart, which essentially is just death. Oh, how do I, how did I do this level? Hope you're all doing well, by the way. I probably should have picked a better time to do this, like a few days ago, but alas. Oh, I see now. Sneaky thing. There's walls. Just the slightest tint off. So let's just quickly head out way to the exit. No speed bonus. Heading back. Don't be scared of going backwards. And those are teleporters. And some of these speed bonuses really don't make much sense to me. I mean, there's barely enough time to get to the top here. Right, red key. Love key collecting this level. Yellow key now. <sighs> Through there, green key, back and forth. Don't go too far or else you hit the spikes. And back up again. Now we head down, and that's it. Oh, we just have to go back there again. Just teleport ourselves twice. Ooh. Oh, messed that one up. Try that again. 
I do not remember how many levels there are, but it's way over 100 by this stage. Maybe 150? <laughs> I don't do my research. And I messed that platform up again. Thankfully, no instant death. Well, at least not here anyway. I mean, those spikes are instant death. Mm, this is only the tutorial levels, by the way, so... You can't expect them to be hard at all. Bat six ahead. And that guy's chasing us. And rapidly catching up with us. So... Gotta keep hurrying. We've already lost the speed bonus, so... Yeah, we can safely ignore that for the most part. Oh, you finished that? Well... Might as well enter our name. That's the first set done. So, how many levels are there? A lot. Okay. New beginnings. Yellow. And, as you guessed, it's all about grabbing all the yellow spheres. Those blue ones are just a distraction to lead you to a dead end. Box shot. Ah. Simple avoiding stuff. Nothing too difficult. Slide down the wire. Grab the key. Hop over the box, else we won't, you know, get over it. This would be a lot more harder if we didn't have the box with us. But otherwise, it's pretty easy, because you just use the vines to climb over it. The ladder near the exit. And that is a precious activated explosion. So you probably want to keep out of that thing's way, unless you absolutely have to go over it. Okay, I'm trying to think about how I should be jumping, and I think I've got it down. Maybe. About that much. I forget about that. Darn thing. How did I do this level? I think it's just a matter of going back and then around and up again. Yeah, it's probably something like that. Yeah, it makes a lot more sense. Flat dude always jumps a set amount of distance, so... You can generally get around that kind of thing. Oh! Gotta keep holding the direction, otherwise, you know... It won't... The keys won't activate. So, back around the goat. This time we just hop... Over the through the gap. And to the exit! And 511 speed bonus. Passing over to plunger. Stacking exercise. You can push or board these blocks, by the way. Which is something nice to know. Right. Now, originally I was going to do another game, which was Sheep Goes Left. Which is another one of JNK's games, and oop, messed that one up. But essentially, well, the frame rate was a bit too low. Although the same thing is actually being shown right now. It's not the best computer out there. Or maybe it's just the recording software being slightly over demanding of this processor. In any case, just gotta not mess this one up. Come on. There we go. Ah, and that. There's a simple avoiding, and to the exit. Or home, whichever you prefer. The path that hides. Okay, we don't need to go that way just yet. I suspect we'll be doing a bit of round trips here. Bounce up, back down again. Okay, that's not the way to go. Ah, oh, this way. 
right through the dark section. Go around again. Hop. 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 Move up. Down. Alright, we're clear. And to the exit. No speed bonus. Clambering for spheres. And we got a, quite a larger level now. Over the gap. Clear away. And we could go for the bonus, but hey, we've got an exit to go to. No speed bonus though. Two timing. Oh. Never mind. How many lives have I lost? Most of them. Nasty. Close. Alright, what do I do about these? I'm not sure. We'll set one of them off. I guess the idea is to drop them into the hole? Okay, maybe not. Oh dear. I have not assessed this situation properly. I should have done it elsewhere, shouldn't have I? Well. And yes, just showing you that explosions do kill. So yeah. That was JNK Plat 2010, and that was just the first few levels. In any case, there's a lot of levels here. I mean, there's a whole bunch of everything, including the 2008 edition, which is on the Nintendo DS as a homebrew application. And then you've got these user contributed levels, including this one, which I have not completed. <laughs> ah. In any case, this was JNK Flat 2010. And hey, look, in the top left corner, it does say there's 154 levels, so it's over 150. Wow. In any case, this is what I've got. Ah, oh, I must be terrible for not showing you, but if you want to check it out yourself, feel free to do so. The link's in the description. And as I remember. You can't link to external sites directly via annotation, so who cares about those? Anyway, I'm Chaotic Law, and till next time, take care everyone.